you have a Focus Odin 5 F3 and the extruder head is wiggling around a lot, chances are it may be the factory wheels aren't the greatest and we might have to change those wheels out today. So that's what we're going to do today. Stay tuned. I'm going to show you how to do that. Crazy Will here from Crazy Will's Tech Show. Today, we're going to change out the wheels on the extruder head of the Focus Odin 5 F3. Now, I know what everybody's typing right now. You guys are going, why don't you just adjust the eccentric nut? Yes, I have done that. I've done a lot of things. This is the second video that I'm doing on this printer. I've been having problems with it. I did adjust the eccentric nut or the adjustment nut or whatever you want to call it. I did adjust that. Didn't work, I tried it on the bed. The bed is actually nice and tight now. If you looked at my video from last week, which you can see right up here, I changed out the wheels. It made such a difference on the bed itself, not really having problems with the bed, so I think. So I'm thinking that the extruder is wiggling around a little too much. Even though I just did the adjustment nut, it's still wiggling around way too much. So what I wanna do now is change out those wheels. I'm gonna show you how to do that today. And yes, I'm reaching out to the manufacturer. They're supposedly sending me a bed because they think that the bed is warped. It's been over two weeks now and I still haven't received the bed. I contact them again. They told me it was back ordered. I told them that I was having problems with the wheels and it's supposedly they're going to send me this kit right here. It's not even enough wheels to do it. So I'm getting frustrated trying to go back and forth and they're not really giving me too much information and I'm not bashing them. The tech guys should know how to repair these printers. It is a fairly new company. Getting a little frustrated. I'm not going to lie but they're sending me that kit. I haven't received anything yet, but we're only on week two of me contacting them and telling them that I'm having problems. At first they said they weren't gonna send the wheels. Now they're gonna send me a whole kit with wheels. Anyway, I ran out of the V-slot wheels, so I just went out and purchased wheels. I just got a problem printer, and like I said in my last video, if you didn't see it, I've had problems with all these printers. There's always something that needs to be adjusted and something that needs to be fixed. Usually it's something just simple, but this one, it's been a little bit more of a challenge. And you know, I could have just got a dud. I don't know. You know, I had a problem with the ender, got that situated, and then the disc way, I actually had to exchange that one out because I couldn't figure out what it was. When I got the next one, it still had a little bit of problems. It turned out the frame was bent and I just unloosened some screws and bent it back. And I said that in my last video, and I'm sorry for the people that I'm repeating this to. I just want to let you know that the 3D printers, it's a hobby, guys. Unfortunately, we got to play. I spend a lot of time on this, and I've spent quite a few hours on this machine already. I've adjusted a lot of things, and I'm going to list some of the stuff that I adjusted so far opposed to this video so that way you guys will understand that I did try a lot of things before I went this step and I suggest you do the same test the stuff out make sure that you're not doing something extreme like do the basics first you know check the leveling check this check that you know check a bunch of stuff before you start taking apart your 3d printer because you don't know what you're doing you can make a mess so hopefully this video will help you not make a mess and we'll walk you through on how to do it so let's get over to the workbench all right so let's first start by by going into the menu, go to tools, and go to move, and uh, we're going to move this up in the z-axis, and I'm going to go all the way up, and I'm going to change it over to 10 millimeters, so we can move this up, and I'm going to move this up, I'm going to keep moving it up till it gets to the top. Alright, that's as far as it'll go. So now we'll power off the machine, unplug it, alright, and we're going to take I think it's the biggest Allen key you got. Let's go for these two screws right here. Pull that one out, put it off to the side. Pull that one out, pull it off to the side. Now we'll go for the other side. Just loosen them first. All right, and this is the last screw. Now, it shouldn't go anywhere. And we'll just pull this top off. Boom, just like that, it's out of the way. The next thing you want to do is disconnect the ribbon cable right up here. So we're just going to push on these little slots right here. Just put a little pressure on both ends. Pop it up a little bit on one end. Pop it up on another end. Be careful with this. You don't want to break this. And then just pop the ribbon cable straight up. Back here, if you could see, I'm grabbing this and I'm just twisting this up and I'm just letting it go up into place and out so I can get this whole unit off. Boom, just like that, it's off. 
This is also a good time if you need to check if you're having problems with this printer, these rods to see if they're straight. It's just one little Allen key down here and then you roll these across a flat table and see if there's any wobble to them. I didn't have any problems with that so I'm going to take that and move it out of the way. Now we're left with this unit right here. I'm going to go ahead and go to this tightening screw right here and I'm going to loosen it up. I just think it'll make the job easier. So I'm gonna screw that down to where it's nice and loose. And as you can see, it's going in. So now this is not tight anymore. I did notice on this, and this is why I think I'm having problems with the wheels. Whenever I go into the middle, it, it gets stuck up. It's like some something's making it stop right there. It likes to be in that point. I don't know why. I'm thinking it's the wheel. We're gonna go on the under bottom here now. And you got two Allen keys right here that you need to get to. So I'm gonna go ahead and loosen these up. Take that out and take this one out as well. And that's where the belt's connected to the actual carriage. All right, now both of these are out of the way. Push these off to the side. And now what I wanna see, if it still has that problem. Yeah, it's still, if you see it catches right there. So something's definitely wrong, either with the wheels or the rails, something. So the next thing we're gonna do to really get this thing off, you're gonna take the wrench that came with it and there's an adjustment screw right here that loosens it up. I don't know which way to turn it. I'm gonna try and turn it the way with the least resistance until it gets loose. And I'll show you once I get it off. So it should be nice and loose now. It loosens it up so that way now the carriage is nice and loose. I'm gonna go ahead, take this wrench, put it right here on the screw on the inside and just hold it right there at the same time going for this Allen key right here. And you can see that there's definitely a problem with these these ball bearings. They're falling apart. They're just not good. And that's the eccentric nut I was talking about and there is a washer that goes on the back of that as well. Now let's turn this and now this is free thing I forgot to tell you, unplug that too, so we don't mess that up. So that little bolt got stuck right back there. Let's pull that out. And that has a washer as well. You can see they have like a little bit of a wiggle. I don't know. I, th I just think they just used cheap wheels on this. Everything else was really nice on this printer except for these. I just noticed that that's a problem. And as soon as I took it apart, you saw it just it came off. I want to see if there's a flat spot in this wheel. I don't see one. I think the bearings have flat spots in them and you see how easy that comes out that shouldn't happen i've never seen any of the v-slot wheels do this so it's a very cheap wheel we're going to go ahead and take the rest of these apart take the wheels off and we'll go ahead and replace them so again all it is the allen key right here in the middle of the wheel and you take this one put it right there and then you just go ahead and take it apart Just be mindful of the head of the nozzle. We don't want to mess that up. And you can see, again, these are coming apart. I don't understand why. It's just cheap wheels. And it's funny, there's no washer on these at top. Let off to the side, pull that out. And just to show you, these don't normally come apart this easy. Usually you have to be very forceful, but for some reason these just really bad wheels. There's a little washer in there that separates the two wheels. And then I'm gonna inspect this one to see if there's a flat spot somewhere on it. I don't see any, but. All right, and I'll go ahead and take that one off as well. And as soon as I get my wheels, I will continue this video. All right, very excited. My package came, the new wheels. And you can tell these are just better wheels. You can just tell. They don't come out automatically. So the first ones I'm gonna go for are the top ones. And I left them all connected so that way I could see the way they go in. All right, so I already got one on just to make sure I got the positioning right. We're just putting the two top ones on and you're just going to put the screw in like that put this piece like that that's the spacer and then just slide it right into the hole and make sure the nut on the outside of the extruder head here start tightening it up a little bit finger tight and then we'll go ahead and get the wrench put this up at an angle try not to hold down on the nose too much push this up front like that i'm going to try and multitask here grab this one Tighten it down, no wiggle, spins nice, perfect. We're gonna get this bar. My glasses show me that it's upside down and another way you could tell are the connectors right there. They'll, you'll be able to see them. On this side, you won't be able to see them. So this is upside down and plus you have this telling you that it's upside down too. You have the belt. I'm gonna put this upside down like so. 
put this into place and we're gonna go for the wheel now. We're gonna take the screw again, put that on there, then the washer, like so, then the eccentric nut, and the eccentric nut should go on like this with the lip facing up inward. We'll go to this one here and we're gonna try and get these wheels in the V-slot. Get yourself situated. And then we'll get this one in the V-slot as well with the eccentric nut on the inside there. Okay, kinda got this situated. Put the washer right in there. It's gonna be hard to get in here. It's hard for you guys to see what I'm doing, but I'm gonna put the washer in there. Okay. Got that in there. It's gonna be challenging. But it can be done. We'll start screwing. Yep, we got it. Alright, wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Alright, now we just gotta get the wrench in there and start tightening it up so we can get this lined up. Looks like it's spinning really nice already. All right, now we got it in there. Make sure it's not wiggling. Everything looks good there. All right, next thing we're gonna do is the teeth have to be down, facing down, and we're gonna go ahead and put the belt onto this. All right, so we're gonna take this little metal piece like so. Put it through here. I'm gonna line it up with this. I'm gonna start screwing it down just to catch the threads to get this started. All right, I got it started on that side. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with this. Again, teeth down, put it in this top. And that's why we loosened up that nut earlier so that way you can get it easily in and out. Gotta be a little patient with these. All right, all right, and we'll go ahead and screw these down. Yes, and we'll get this one nice and tight. That looks straight. Yep, that looks pretty straight. Okay, so those are all tightened down. Heads in the right direction. Let's put this ribbon cable back in. Push that into place. Boom, that's right back. Okay, so right now the belt is loose, and the way to tighten that is right on the back here, right on this one. And we're going to tighten this up. Let's see, is this the right size? Yeah. So now it's time to tighten this up. Get the belt nice and taut. And we can adjust it once it's on the printer. But right now, I want to see how it's going to roll. Okay, and now we can test her out and make sure she's rolling nicely. All right, now if you remember before, I had that little lump in the middle. It doesn't have that anymore. Okay, she's not wiggling that much. No, that's pretty good. I, I, I'm pretty happy with that. I mean, I could try loosening and tighten it, but I'll do that once I get it on the machine. So let's go ahead and put this back together on the machine. Okay, so here we are back at the machine. I'm going to take this gantry. There's only one way you can put it on is where the rods are. And we're going to try and gently try not to ruin these wheels because they do get scratched a little bit. And I'm going to go ahead and just push down gently on these. And it's a little... <laughs> try to be gentle, but it's a little challenging. All right, so now we got it right where the motors would start. So we can try and start twisting the motors to go down. There we go. So that way they're nice and even, and it'll feed the next one in. All right. I think we got a good thing going here. All right, perfect. I'm going to slip this ribbon cable right up into here, like so. And we're just going to connect it, push these te teeth up again. We're just going to connect it back up, like so. And it should just rest there, and then when you push it down, should lock into place and this should be a little hard to get out so now that's all back together and I'm going to use these to twist down a little bit more because I don't want to touch the ribbon cable with anything and the next thing we're going to do is put this bar back on like so and now we're just going to add the screws I think we're done. 
So that's how you change out the wheels on your extruder. Once again, it's not quite there, guys. The middle is still high, and I don't understand why. They said they're sending me a bed. I just went ahead and ordered one. I found a really cheap, inexpensive bed that I think is going to work with this. So look out for that video. I'm probably going to tape everything and show you how to change out the bed because <sighs> I'm getting a little discouraged. I'm not going to lie, guys. This is very disheartening. Overall, it was it was a great experience. The first 80 prints, and now I'm up to 90 something, and it feel like it, I just can't get a print to stick. It's or it comes out sloppy. And if anybody else is going through this, please leave comments down below. Let me know. What you're going through and if you have a solution share it because it may help me I'm hoping I'll find it beforehand and be able to share with you guys but hopefully it'll help me or help somebody else I will say if you're gonna get a 3d printer get it on Amazon so that way if you are having this problems you may have a little bit of a safety net where you can exchange it out for a new one because these are mass-produced and things can go wrong I I'm hoping I'm just one of the lucky ones and that's why I'm hoping somebody will comment down below and let me know if they're having a great time with this printer and it's like, what, what are you talking about, Will? Because I did highly recommend it. I really want it to work. I like a lot of the features on it. I just don't know what's going on. Like I said, in the beginning, the bed was a little high. I'm just hoping that I can find the answer here. That's it for me, guys. Make sure you like and subscribe if this video helped you in any way. And remember, if you want to see more of my content, ring that bell so you get notified when I make a video. And remember, you could do anything if you put your mind to it. Later, guys! For the love of God, just print! This isn't a Marvel movie, guys. There's no secret ending, no strategy or something. Just hit like and subscribe and maybe click on one of the videos above. Don't know what to tell you.